Welcome back guys. <clears throat> uh, today I thought I'd uh, do a video on what I consider to be uh, my top 10 Linux distributions. And I mainly gravitate towards distributions that bring something new to the table. Uh, one thing I notice is that many of the Linux distributions are uh, basic uh, distributions, basic uh, copying basically of uh, the original distribution and maybe adding a, a theme or or uh, something like eye candy. Uh, if 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 I were to if I wanted to do a plain old uh, Zubuntu install, I would install Zubuntu. Uh, so if I wanted to install a run-of-the-mill Debian install, I would do Debian. But I prefer distributions that add a little something, that go out of their way to provide features and utilities that you don't normally get with the standard plain vanilla distributions. And so I'll show you what I mean. Uh, first of all, if we take a look at Debian first, my top two Debian distributions are Voyager X, which is the uh, Debian uh, Debian distribution which is very very well done I've done a video on this prior but they add so many new features and so many new utilities uh, really I did a whole video on Voyager it's it's phenomenal how much work they've put into this and so they add so much utility that um, I really enjoy using Voyager Debian. Um, it's a little bit more difficult on the install, but uh, I think anybody who has used Linux in the past would, wouldn't have a problem with it. Uh, now if you're not sure and if you have very little experience with, uh, with Linux, then you might want to stay with a, an Ubuntu-based distribution. I'll show you the ones that I prefer. So for Debian, I prefer Voyager and Sparky Linux. Sparky is another one that ha they go out of their way to provide additional features and utilities that are really useful and that you get a lot out of, a lot of additional value to the distribution. So as far as Debian goes, it's for me, it's Voyager and Sparky Linux. Now I did install the new Debian uh, Jesse 8.1 uh, and I really enjoyed that one all, is also very good. Uh, I, I also installed the Linux Mint Debian edition but again it didn't bring enough additional utility to the table for me to recommend it over Voyager or Sparky Linux. So those are my top two Debian distributions. Now as far as Ubuntu based I tend to favor uh, LXDE or XFCE desktop uh, distributions. And so these are my top Ubuntu based. Number one for me is Linux Lite. Uh, they do so much work to make the distribution unique and useful. My only complaint with Linux Lite is there is no UEFI install option. But that really doesn't prevent me from putting it at my number one uh, spot. Linux Lite, excellent, so many features so much utility, so much value added. It's an extremely, extremely good desktop distribution. 
It's good for beginners and also intermediate and advanced if you want a distribution that handles your day-to-day -day needs. Linux Lite can take care of that for you. So that is my number one Ubuntu-based distribution. It's an XFCE distribution. Really well done. A close second would be Peppermint OS 6. Uh, I've got it installed on a desktop. I've got it installed on my Chromebook as I do with Linux Lite. Terrific distribution, excellent support, great reputation. Uh, you can't go wrong with either Linux Lite or Peppermint OS 6. Absolutely phenomenal. And as I said, they provide a lot of additional value, a lot of utility, uh, it, it, I only scratch the surface when I uh, point out a lot of these things. You really have to download it, install it, and try it for yourself. Number three would be LXLE. Again, for the same reasons. They provide so much additional utility. Uh, if you go through the menus, you'll find so many additional features that are not provided in your typical Linux distribution. Uh, absolutely outstanding. And it's worthy of a place on your desktop or your laptop. Uh, the next one in line is Voyager's Ubuntu based 14.04.04 LTS. Excellent for all the same reasons. They provide so much utility They've done so much work to make the, uh, the install uh, just a cut above the standard. And also, with all of these distributions, you're not sacrificing anything on stability. They all perform extremely well day in, day out. I, have, I don't have any hiccups with these systems. The next up, especially for beginners, Chalet OS. They provide a lot of uh, different uh, features. They have a look that's very similar to Windows. They've got various options on the desktop uh, so that you can get comfortable. If you're coming from Windows, you'll be perfectly comfortable with Chalet OS. And again, they provide a lot of additional utility and uh, resources. They have put a lot of work into the distribution. Well worth, uh, well worth an install. Okay, and so the two tried and true Ubuntu Mate super distribution. Very stable. Can't go wrong with it works day in day out all hardware configures easily uh, it's really top-notch as far as the very large uh, user base distributions Ubuntu Mate is right up there and I like Zubuntu I like uh, using the XFCE desktop and Zubuntu with their 1404 long term or the 1504 you can't go wrong everything works everything works nicely lots of uh, utility if you're looking for a, 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 a distribution from a large user base then this would be either Ubuntu Mate or Zubuntu would be my two recommendations um, and then the last but not least is Zorin OS. Um, I like Zorin OS because it is so well pre-configured and gives you a few extra uh, options for how you want it to look that you'll be totally comfortable coming from a Windows environment. Now they do have the core version which is free and they do have the 
premium version, which provides a lot of uh, additional features and software. You can't go wrong with either one. And with any of these distributions, keep in mind they are free. Uh, and, but once you try them and you s uh, settle on one that you're going to use on a day in, day out basis, it sure doesn't hurt to uh, uh, make a donation to the, uh, the people who are putting all of these distributions together. And they all have on their home page, they have the ability to, to easily make a donation so that they can continue to provide this unbelievable service uh, to the uh, computing community. So guys, those are my top 10, uh, two for uh, Debian and eight of them for Ubuntu. You can't go wrong with any of those. Um, I hope you give them a try. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. And as always, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I will see you soon, guys. Take care.